years, decades, or even a century ago. And that's no good either, is it? We allow multinational corporations that are very profitable to get away without paying a dime to the society that makes their success possible. I don't think you approve of that, do you? No! And we, uh, while we tax the essentials that middle class families need, we allow Wall Street gambling to go on without paying any tax, and that's the kind of economic activity that got us into the Great Recession, and that's no good at all. We know we are better than this. So what's the problem? Well, believe it or not, a big part of the problem is right behind me right now. Uh, in this office building, or the one just over there. And the problem is named Grover Nordquist. So you've heard of it. So who's Grover Nordquist? Well, he's someone who has spent his entire professional life ensuring that the 1% are never asked to contribute their fair share to our society. That's no good, right? He believes that we're all better off struggling on our own, that we have nothing to offer each other. That's not right. We have nothing to share with one another. That's not right. And, um, and that we can't work together to create a better world. And I'm sure you don't agree with that idea. No! Brother Norquist has bullied half of our Congress, has bullied them into signing a pledge that makes legislating impossible, that threatens our security, that contradicts the solemn oath taken by each member upon uh, taking office in Congress. And I don't think any of you approve of that, do you? No! no! And in fact, just last night, he was at work again. He blocked a bill in the Senate that would have ensured that billionaires paid at least as much, uh, at least as high a tax rate as middle class families. Even though it got a majority of senators voting for it, he was able to block it using the arcane rules of the Senate, and I think we're all unhappy about that. Yeah. Yes. Robert Norquist has done all these things for a quarter of a century, largely in the shadows. But today, we're all out here on Patriotic Tax Day to say, Grover, it's over! Grover is over! Grover is over! Grover is over! Grover is over! Listen, some of you have probably heard the slang from Grover Norquist that he believes we should shrink government to the size when, that you can drown it in a bathtub. But I'm here to tell you, we, we kind of misunderstand Grover when he says that. You see, as Will says, I grew up in the 1%. I grew up in Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. I went to high school with Mitt Romney. Whoa. I grew up in a town of people from the 1%. So did Grover Norquist. He grew up in Weston, Massachusetts, the most affluent town in, in Massachusetts. Listen, where I grew up, the houses are big, the pools are big, the rooms are big, 
the bathtubs are big. <laughs> so all I'm saying is when he says drop it in the bathtub, you don't have to worry. The tub is much bigger than you can imagine. <laughs> all right, listen, the reason we're here is everybody else. <laughs> There's something wrong with that. And what yeah. Grover has done is help make sure that that tax system for the privileged stays intact and every year lobbies to make it more and more unfair. Boo! As Will said, yesterday the Senate voted to thwart the will of the majority and shut off debate on the Buffett rule. A very simple proposal. People who earn over a million dollars should pay at least 30% of their income in taxes. At least? Yeah! At least. Yes! Yes! yes. 70% of the U.S. public supports that. Yeah. yeah. The majority in the Senate supports it. Yeah. Yeah. And yet, we will not have that rule become the law of the land. Boo. Because of the organizing efforts of people like Grover Norton. Boo. And she knows what it's like to work hard for a living and to save lives and to pay less tax, half the tax on a Wall Street trader. She also knows what inadequate public resources caused by inadequate taxation does to social services like health care. So she's got two perspectives on this that are both very important. And she also is a part of a great organization called National Nurses United. They've made it their cause to tax Wall Street gambling, basically. A tiny little tax, no one noticed. No one has a 401k, has their own stock account, would ever notice this. But if you're up there in Wall Street just churning stocks all day long, you can raise a lot of money that way and help out Main Street. So, so let's bring on right here to our stage, which is really just a milk cart. <laughs> Brenda King, ne neonatal intensive care nurse at Trojan's Hospital. Come on up, Brenda. <laughs> rate 
that middle class Americans whose income comes from good, old fashioned, hard work. Yeah. In 2010, I had adjusted gross income of over $700,000, but paid only 16% in federal income taxes. <laughs> and Grover Norquist thinks my taxes should be even lower. <laughs> his, his taxpayer protection pledge opposes any and all efforts to increase tax rates or even to close any tax loopholes. <laughs> Think about what this means. Grover thinks that tax breaks for millionaires are more important than helping middle class kids go to college. <laughs> tax breaks for millionaires are more important than fixing America's crumbling infrastructure. Whoa! Grover thinks that tax breaks for millionaires are more important than health care for the sick, the disabled, the elderly. Whoa! Grover even thinks that tax breaks for millionaires are more important than narrowing the budget deficits that will have to be repaid by our children and grandchildren. Whoa! Grover think you are wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. We think that giving every citizen a fair shot at the American dream is more important than tax breaks for millionaires. Yeah. We think that profit. public investments in education and in infrastructure are more important than tax breaks for millionaires. Yeah. And we think that wealthy Americans like me should pay higher tax rates than middle and class Americans not lower rates. Yeah. We reject Grover's pledge because we want to live in a society that offers opportunity to all Americans, not just to a privileged few. Yeah. Yeah. We reject Grover's pledge because we think the politicians should only be pledging to do what's best for America. Yeah. Yeah. We reject Grover's pledge and embrace another pledge offering liberty and justice for all. Yeah. Here's my closing joke. <laughs> the CEO of ExxonMobil and Grover Norquist and Joe the plumber and a teacher are sitting down and there's 12 fresh baked cookies on the table and the CEO of ExxonMobil eats 11 of them and Grover turns to Joe the plumber and says look out for that teacher. She wants your cookie. <laughs> Don't let Grover Norquist divide and conquer us. We are not broke. No. no. I want to hear you chant with me. We, we are, are not, not broke. broke. We are not broke. We are not broke. Let me tell we you where's the money to come from. We, we can reverse the Bush tax cuts. Yeah. 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 Trillion dollars over the next 10 years. Yeah. We can close the offshore tax haven system. Yeah. A trillion dollars over the next 10 years. Woo. We can tax capital gains and wealth at the same rate as work. Yeah. Yeah. It's another 100 billion a year. Woo. We are not broke. We are not broke. We are not broke. We are not broke. And uh, thank you very much for coming out. Good job. Oh, oh.